Hey Geminis, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's jump into it. Now we're gonna jump straight into it. Whatever pops out, pops out guys. This is a general read, all right? So take what applies and leave the rest. All right, so let's get this thing going. Gemini, what message is there for the Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter. <laughs> Wherever you have Gemini at in your chart, guys, you can utilize this video, okay? So, let's get a couple more shuffles in, and then we're going to jump straight into it. Give me a message for Gemini, please. What's going on with my Geminis currently? What's currently going on with my Geminis? Let's give it one more shuffle, guys. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But this could be involving like your finances. Oh, yes. Ten of Pentacles. All right. We got the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. All right. All right. Looks like you, you uh, are very... <laughs> You're in a good space financially, Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting like very much so, very much so well off. Okay, so it looks like your finances are rolling in good, like you're doing well. Okay, so let's look. We got the Two of Cups. We got the Six of Pentacles. All right. We got the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Wands. We got the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at you. We got the Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. All right, so I'm going to just say this right off the bat. Gemini, Gemini, Geminis. Okay, for some of you, you could be getting some type of settlement of some sort. Um, but things look very well for you. Okay. Now be careful of people coming in and asking you, can they borrow? Can they get, can all of this? Because by bad, it looks like you're very well off. Like you're doing very well. <laughs> okay. Now why is the seven of ones here? We got the three of wands. Oh, that card just wanted to fall. It ain't have no business falling. <laughs> Okay, like I'm not even going to take it because it's the three of wands. I'm not going to take because I don't like reading the cards after they fall on the floor. But it does look like um, there was something that happened here that you may have been sad about or feeling regretful about. It could have been involving a Taurus or some of you a marriage. There could have been some type of yeah. I'm definitely picking up on a marriage or some sort or or a relationship that may have felt like a marriage. You've been together for a while. But it looks like there was some type of conflict going on or a battle or some type. Um, but it looks like we got the nine of pentacles and the star. It looks like you end up coming out on top. Now, there is seven of wands does give me struggle type of vibes. Like there could have been a struggle, possibly in a connection because we got the two of cups here. Why is the seven of wands here? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be involving family or this is a marriage or there could have been a struggle financially. Okay, so maybe you were going through some type of struggle. You felt stuck. Okay, you were feeling stuck in a situation. It could have been a financial obligation. Now we got the Two of Cups here and the Seven of Cups. Baby, you got options. You got options. You're trying to decide on whether or not if you even want to be in this and be in a connection or relationship or business partnership, whatever it is, whatever it is, you got plenty of options. OK, now, see, when it talks about money with the page of Pentacles, you're trying to see what's the best thing that you should do. OK, because it looks like you're you're getting ready to receive a lot of abundance like you're riding an abundance train right now. Now, we got the six of Pentacles as the challenge. Okay, so the Empress, okay, maybe um, this is about getting, uh, some of you may be getting surgery done, something cosmetic done, um, like you're 
looking at something that would make you feel good about yourself. Why is the Empress here? Some of you, it could be a new hair, a new hairstyle, anything. I feel like it's something possibly cosmetic that you're going to get some type of upgrade on. And I feel like it has something to do with possible physical appearance, maybe getting your hair done or something like that. Maybe you thought something was over with the Ten of Wands in the world. You thought something was over, but baby, let me tell you, with this Knight of Wands energy, this is something that is making you feel younger, making you feel like more adventurous, more outgoing. I feel like I was, I'm seeing like some of someone here going to get their body done or something like that. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Four of Pentacles. This is something that I feel like you've been wanting to do. But maybe you just didn't have the finances to do it at the time. I feel like you're getting the finances is here. Okay. Yeah. You feel like you can afford it now. Okay. You feel like you can afford it now. Look at y'all. Now, y'all had some y'all had some struggles in the past. We got the nine of swords. You were you were worried. You were possibly stressed. Um, in the past. Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the Knight of Swords. This could be somebody younger that maybe a child could have been like, you felt like really overwhelmed. Okay. So that could have been where your attention was at. Um, but it's like all of a sudden, okay, it looks like a connection here. Okay. It looks like, like something that fell apart came back together. Something that fell apart came back together. And I feel like for some of you, this is a child. Uh, could be a fire sign or an air sign. But you were kind of like stressing out, okay? This is, I feel like this is passing. We're not going to dwell too much on this. Because it looks like moving forward, you got that Ace of Pentacles energy, honey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We got that Ace of Pentacles and the temperance, all right? So you're trying to make sure you keep your coin balanced, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yep, you are tired of feeling alone, left out, rejected, and financially burdened, okay? Those days are over, okay? They are over. So now you're going to make sure that the money and the finances and the abundance that you have coming in, you're going to make sure that you're going to keep it balanced, okay? So it's like you're not trying to deal with no more struggle. It's like you're not with that struggle, that struggle stuff. Like, nah, I'm good. So we got the page of wands. There is uh, news coming in or some type of uh, message of some sort. Like I said, be careful, okay? Ooh, ooh goodness. You got, um, ooh. <laughs> you got somebody here that's being sneaky trying to creep in may want to have sex with you but keep in mind that maybe this is someone that you already know this person could be a juggler could be a leo okay but they don't want a relationship or you don't want a relationship i feel like it's you and some of y'all may want to stay single but this person just like wants to sneak in and creep in and you like mm, yeah because they're doing this because they see you over here with this will of fortune energy. They see that things have shifted and changed for you and things are going in your favor. So here they come trying to sneak in. Okay, trying to sneak in. Why the seven of swords here? Yep, did not tell you, Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Then we got that King of Pentacles here at the bottom and the Hermit. They see what you got going on. Okay, be careful, Geminis. They see what how the universe is conspiring, how God is working in your life. Um, you have an abundance of something. It could be money. It could be assets. It could be whatever it is. This person is seeing that, okay? So somebody that... Somebody that uh, knows what you have coming in, they're watching you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Could be a Scorpio. Yep. They they over here like, you know what? We got the Aquarius energy over here. Somebody wants to get back together. It could be an Aquarius. Now we got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past wants to get back together. Okay? Like, 
And it's, it could be a King of Swords, Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody wants to get back together because they see you doing good. Like, they see you doing well. With the Queen of Cups. Oh, no. You feel like that 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 situation there is a burden. You're like, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want mm -mm. So, you feel like this person just want to come sleep around and, you know, snoop around and be nosy. But I don't think you want a relationship with this person. Yeah. Too much cheating. Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. Too many, too much heartbreak, too much sorrow. This is somebody from your past that wants to come back around. But the thing about it is, is they've already, they've already done their damage. And you're like, uh, mm, 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 mm. So you may not be giving this person any attention like that. You feel like if you go back to that relationship, it's going to be a lot of work. That needs to be done. So you see it as, you know, tower. Like you see it as damaged, too, too damaged. But you want, you don't mind being their friend. All right. So now we got the Knight of Cups here as the outcome. This is some type of communication. Oh, the Emperor could be a baby daddy. Okay. Could be a baby daddy that's trying to come in. But baby, somebody is knocking on that door trying to get in okay like i said this person could have their own money and have their own stuff going on too with this king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn but you're getting you're gonna get tired of the back and forth you're gonna get tired of the back and forth you're gonna feel you feel like it's it's a no i'm getting a definite a definite no but this person keeps communicating with you keep reaching out to you keep trying to sneak their way in but from what you see you feel like if you take that risk you're going to regret it and that's on that and i'm gonna end the room on that okay could be an aries um with that emperor card there but you're like no mm -mm. I'm good. I'm straight. I done seen it. Done had it. I already see what it's hitting on. I'm good. So, all right. So, that's the reading that I got for y'all. I'm so happy that you guys are finally in a better position because I remember a few months ago, I was reading for Gemini's and you guys were just going through it. Like, y'all was going through a real deal struggle to where I actually, like, shed tears doing you guys' reading. So I'm happy to see that you guys are in a much more stronger headspace and you're in a better position, looks like financially. Um, and it's just things are going in your favor. All right. So anyway, guys, before I get all emotional, <laughs> be sure to like the video, guys, as well as share with your family and your friends. And if you're interested, guys, in booking a personal reading, that information is below. As well, guys, you could check out my website. It's all the information is in the drop box below. Okay. So until next time, guys, ciao for now.